What? No, no. Why? Because it's a commercial. Because, what? Because it's a commercial. Why? Because it's annoying. <laughs> and yeah, because it's a commercial. This episode is brought to you by Squarespace.com. That's right, Squarespace.com. You know how to build a website? You have to have like uh, design skills and like coding skills. Yeah, just skills in general. Well, uh, guess what? Now you don't. Yeah, skillless idiot dummies like <laughs> me can create a website. For very, very cheap using Squarespace.com. And it's, it's simple. You just you sign up, you click, and you drag, and you put images where you want. And they have, like, templates, and they have everything you need. You don't need to know how to code. You don't need to know how to design. No skills required. <laughs> How's that for a dystopian future? How's that for fair? <laughs> uh, it's actually very fair. And it's actually getting more fair because if you go to Squarespace.com slash if I were you, you can put in the coupon code Amir for twenty percent off. How is that fair? Oh, that's fair because always you know, your name. It's <laughs> every single time. Uh, in October, it'll be your name. But for All September, right. they're offering us a twenty percent discount if you go to Squarespace.com/slash if I were you. Put in my name, Amir, and uh, yeah, you can build your own professional uh, portfolio website. Uh, online store even. You can if basically... I were you, fan site? Yeah. <laughs> I don't know. And uh, if you do create something, forward it to us, and we'll give you some free publicity. For example, James Tamim created jamestamim.com. Sounds appropriate. Carl Hairdall created carlhairdallphotography.com. All right. And two lovely ladies created mylesbianfriendshow.com. Log on to that one? <laughs> so that's Log that. on to that now? That's a web series. And you guys can basically create whatever you want. And uh, forward it to us, uh, to our email, if I were you show at gmail.com. If you create it with Squarespace, we will pu- we'll promote it. You know, free publicity. So you get, a, you get a domain name, you get a website, and you get some free publicity. Perfect. Nailed it. All right. Enjoy the show. Thanks, guys. If you have trouble and you don't know what to do, just listen to Jake and I'm here to tell you. Some good advice It's the best that you can get It's the only advice podcast On the internet Hosted by them If I were you Whoa! Don't. Ch- chill! Very chill. <laughs> that was Mike Graham. Thank you, Mike. Uh, and this is If I Were You, the only advice podcast On the internet hosted by us. I'm Amir. And I'm Jake. And we are, this one's going to be a super fast two minute mini-sode. Oh, uh, come on. No. I, just, I have to, I know, I, I told you that I had to have dinner uh, at you 546. Absolutely, you're telling me right now. <laughs> yeah, I'm so sorry. You have to have uh, dinner at 546? Yeah, yeah, I have, I have, an, I have a reservation at 546. Excuse you. <laughs> I really, and I'm running late, so, okay, let's just get to the yeah, questions. Yeah, 630. Um, hey, guys. Uh, fuck, this one's super long, so I'm going to skip it. All right. Also long, skip Pass. it. Pass. Let's just do, like, a uh, general. Let's well, take like, the break that I like to take right now. Okay, break, 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 break. Okay, just the generic. What's, like, a one, one outro little. Outro song. Time for outro song. <laughs> and this one is by Delsey. <laughs> Hey, uh, no, I'm sorry. This isn't going to be a short episode. It's going to be a long episode. You know, we've been saying every episode should be 30 minutes long, and we never even we never do that. It always goes quote unquote long. So maybe we should just start calling them 40 minute episodes. I don't like that one bit. Man. No, because then, no. then we start then we start doing an hour. Longer. I think we always say we're a 30, 30 minute podcast, late. and then we run 10 minutes long. late. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. People always we get a lot of emails. They're like, why you why do you cap it at 30? Who's complaining? Nobody's complaining. We just aren't funny enough to talk for an hour straight. I get straight. exhausted. I get tired. Yeah. Sometimes I'm not funny enough to talk for five minutes straight. Right. <laughs> it's, it is weird that it's uh, slightly athletic in that regard. Like, it just feels like we're just yeah, gabbing, but it really is. <laughs> drained this, afterwards. Yeah, why? What, what are we doing? We're not, we're, we're, not, we're not athletes. Yes, we are. In some regard. <laughs> if anything, podcast is like the hardest sport. Yeah. So I would say I'm... I'm good at soccer now for some reason, I think. Sorry, Jeter. <laughs> oh, Captain, my captain? <laughs> no. Oh, Captain, my me. I have more <laughs> endurance than you do because I can speak for 38 minutes in a row with trying to be funny the whole time. I don't How's necessarily that for the all time hit record. <laughs> <laughs> I think the next super cut will be us saying, How's that? Yeah. Um, we have, a, fair? we have a we have a yeah. How is that fair? We have a live podcast taping coming up in November in Brooklyn. Yeah. So if you want to see us talk about what heroes we are for recording a <laughs> podcast, 
You guys should come out and uh, and support us. It's at Littlefield in uh, Brooklyn on November 6th. So if you go to littlefieldnyc.com and search for us on November 6th, or if you go to ifireyoushow.com, uh, you can get ticket information there. We want as many people as possible because that way we make the most money. Right, and it's also nice to have a nice support. But I'm staff. saying if we don't if we don't pack the house with like supportive fans, we won't make as much money. Well, here's a real reason that you can come. Yeah. If we have that show and a lot of people come, yeah. Then people, then the uh, the touring agents that go to that show will yeah. say, oh. We should send these guys out on an actual tour, and then we can come to and, your cities yeah, and, and make even people. more money. You're so what fucking, fucking smart. smart. Oh, small. Okay. You petty asshole. <laughs> I'm pretty. Yeah, Tell I you am what. a pretty. I do I have quit. a pretty. Yeah. How much money do you have now? <laughs> um, God, why did you? Wow, I'm so sorry. You scolded me. <laughs> you, you made me feel small of myself, and uh, I don't Good. appreciate that, actually. It has nothing to do with money. <laughs> if you quit, you will, Jew. You, will you get You me? little Jew. <laughs> you can say that because your father is Jewish, but your mother's not Jewish. I think my father being Jewish, he would be mortified if he heard me calling you that. <laughs> Luckily, he supports me so little, he'll never hear this or any other endeavor that How's I accomplish. How's that, Dad? You <laughs> big <think> Jew? <laughs> No, I'm just joking. We obviously have enough money as is. We don't need money. <laughs> <laughs> but it would be fun to, to have, have like, money. Yeah, to have money. <laughs> I'm not. I'm never going to be genuine. I just want that cash. I want that green, that nasty, that gushy stuff. Do we actually make money from this show? <laughs> <laughs> oh, God. Um, we'll talk about it after. Right, cool. It's not worth even getting into right now. I would love some. Um should we explain how this show works? What's the point, right? Uh, Might as well, well dive right into it. Sure. Okay, here we go. Question number one. Nah, it feels weird. <laughs> <laughs> how the show works is uh, people in sticky situations email us their problems, and Amir and I do our best to try and solve them. Though, oftentimes we fail and just succeed at making the person feel like a jerk forever <laughs> reaching out to us. But that doesn't mean you should not reach out to us, because if you're in a very sticky difficult place in your life, we want to help you out. So that email address is if I were you show at gmail.com. We get tens of fifties submissions a day. <laughs> we comb through literally half of them, find the first five and answer them in order. Wow, that is how lazy we are. <laughs> Come give us your money at Littlefield next week. <laughs> Actually, don't go to the show. Uh, Venmo me 30 bucks. <laughs> that way I don't have to do shit and I still I get money. I met my future wife on Venmo. <laughs> I met my future wife in the About Us section of yellowpages.com. She was a marketing manager. <laughs> uh, all right. So we got uh, we got some five really good emails to get through. We're going to give them fake names, but these emails, I assure you, are 100% accurate. Uh, this one comes from someone we'll call Carl. Carl. Carl writes, Hey, guys, I got a big problem. At our school, there's a game where you pull out your wiener and slam it onto a desk. Almost every guy does it, and it has become something of a tradition. I was in the lead, but then some weirdo pervert snapped a pic of my dick and now he blackmails me. I can't talk to my parents or teachers about it, and all my friends won't help me because they think it's funny. What should I do to stop it? I really don't want anyone to see the picture. You're my last hope. Love, Carl. Oh, no, Carl. <laughs> he, uh... There's a game where you pull out your wiener and slam it on a desk. You know, calling it a sort of a tradition <laughs> really glorifies it to an extent that it does not deserve. He's the only one that plays the game. <laughs> <laughs> so far, I'm in the lead. Uh, 83 to love. And uh, no one else has even come close, but I guess somebody snapped a pick because he was so uh, honored to see the little Michael Jordan that I whip out that's uh, dominating this game. The goddamn Will Chamberlain, the Pete Rose, and the Michael Jordan all rolled into one. You want to an autograph and a, and a selfie with it, snapped a, snapped a gram, put it online, and suddenly I feel like a diva and an asshole about it. I don't want to tell my parents. I'm supposed to be a hero. <laughs> I'm supposed to be the goddamn leader of this game. Nobody's snapping pics. A lot of penises around school look up to me. <laughs> the lesser known B, the B, the B grade penises look up to my cock. Uh, what a stupid game. <laughs> <laughs> and calling somebody else a pervert when you're the one whipping out your penis and putting it on a 
fucking public desk where people take tests. You sick fuck. He probably has an SDD. Yeah. If you think about it, you should get tested, sir. I mean, you haven't boned anything, but you've at least grinded the head of your dick against some pretty, uh, yeah, yeah, pretty some compromising surfaces. I would some say. Some bacteria. You could, get, you could get some bacteria in there, man. <laughs> what are you talking about? You could get some bacteria in there, man. You probably be careful, actually. Yeah, 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 yeah. What's going on? There's some you? drug resistant strains of gonorrhea going what are you around saying? at this point. Oh, I'm sorry. Why are you talking? I like think that? this is my syphilis. <laughs> what? I have syphilis. <laughs> so that makes you talk like a deep, a so deep voiced person. This uh, episode's coming out on Monday, right? Yeah, Monday, uh, September, don't tell me, 16th. So at this point, when I'm listening to this episode, I will have possibly gotten the results of my STD test back. Oh, but you don't know what they are now. How long does it take to get results of an STD test? I'm not test? sure. I haven't been tested in a very long time. <laughs> I, it should be there should be an app that makes it instant I would feel like we like with the new iPhones you know you can get your little thumbprint mm -hmm. I feel like you should be able to to touch the tip of your dick against your phone and it would tell you if you had an STD I or sure not. would like to know I sure I really would buy that app I really would buy that app <laughs> well or, you're, or, or get like this you don't app. have an STD because the only person that touches your dick is you <laughs> very funny all right <laughs> um, not so, a joke <laughs> yeah not a joke I am the joke <laughs> I'm always the joke <laughs> why are we talking about let's dicks? do it <laughs> why are we talking about dicks when I'm the butt <laughs> the butt of every joke <laughs> um, um, so uh, where were we? We were we were trying to help this guy. Well, we haven't we haven't tried to help him yet. Uh, yeah, uh, his friends are trying to blackmail him because uh, he took out his hog and someone. So I will say, I think you can come out ahead of this. Uh, you depending I, on how your dick looks. I mean, the the thing is, the guy that took the picture of your dick is sort of a pervert, and I think you could actually go to your parents or go to your teachers and be like, or at least go to your friends and just be like, hey, this this fucking weirdo took, <laughs> took a picture of my penis and has a picture of my penis on his phone. Well, you know the game that we play, the old touch the dick to the table game. You know, it's a tradition. Dad, you went to my school. Oh, you started the game, did you? Okay, so I'm just living <laughs> in your footsteps, your dick steps, your condom steps. Uh, I, I really think you could, like, number one, tell people, tell enough people and make this guy feel like a weirdo for having a dick pic on his phone of you, <laughs> which he should feel pretty strange about. Two... Catch him, like, you know, not in front of your friends where it's funny and just have a genuine heart-to-heart -heart with him and be like, hey, I really am uncomfortable with you having that picture. Yeah. Three, snatch his phone and break it in <laughs> half, which is probably what I would do. That's what you do after the heartfelt, like, listen, man, I know it's funny to be like, oh, I got a dick pic of me, but I really think that'll make me, like, compromise it. Okay. No, here you go. You're right. I'll right. delete it. Give me your phone. <laughs> go. I snapped it. That was a 5S. <laughs> ass. You ass. <laughs> <laughs> it's already on. It's already online. You did nothing but break the hardware. I or, or like do your absolute best to get a picture of your other friends' dicks. <laughs> and now everybody's.